now I'm really glad that we've made it here, guys, because Dominic think, the Christmas Donkey. I think it really proves the kind of poor job that they did making these raid allies that the Pokemon that is arguably one of the best and puts in the most work is Schoolboy Williams Mudbray. The fact that a rapper hasn't taken this name yet, by the way, is kind of a Schoolboy <laughs> Williams. Schoolboy <laughs> Williams. But seriously, this Mudbray. Seriously, it puts in so much work, man. I mean, Focus Sash, so it's not dying in one hit. Um, Rock Tomb lowers their speed, which is super, super useful. High Horsepower is a good move. Super Power is a good move, despite the stat drop, so it's not the most useful thing. But this is a Pokemon where they gave it four good, useful, reliable attacking moves. They give it a Focus Sash, so it doesn't die in one hit. Could they have put a Mudsdale in? Could they have put Doug Trio in? Could they have put Hip Out on in? Maybe. But... Mudbray puts in so much work. Mudbray is one of the best raid allies. I'm not sure I'm willing to debate it. Mudbray's going in A tier. What say the boys? Above Snorlax. Far oh. above Snorlax. If they gave more of these guys superpowers, I'd be a little less unhappy. And but there's no giga right. impact. Super. No one is. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> That's a good donkey. I'm down to this donkey. Look, Dominic is an A tier. That's all there is to say about that. All right, here's another A tier coming up too. <laughs> S plus, dude. S plus plus. Okay, hear me out on this one, boys. Like Hydro Pump, I have some gripes with. I don't personally like using Hydro Pump, but Magikarp, in my opinion, one of the best. Because you can always rely on Magikarp to use an attacking move. I'm serious. You can always rely on Magikarp to use an attacking move that's actually good. Like, and, and the three moves thing annoys me, but Magikarp's obviously a special case considering it barely learns more than, like, five in total. And compared to some of these guys, like, you've got Pokemon with moves that are really prone to miss. You've got Pokemon whose moves take two turns to fully operate. You've got Pokemon that can't even hit certain types of Pokemon. Compared to some of the terrible Pokemon that they made for raid allies, I think Magikarp actually puts in the work. I think I agree. I don't think it's deserving of A, but based on the fact that we're putting the likes of Togepi and Quillfish in B, I think we can do bottom of the B tier. Magikarp Damn. has come a long No, I'd say top of the C tier. Top of the C Okay, maybe for the mere fact that, that they put Magikarp in as a raid ally means that we can put it top of the C tier. All right, I can agree with that. I'll accept yeah. that. Yeah, okay, sounds good for the boys. Next up, we have one that you would think would be much better than it actually is, Jolteon. Jolteon's always been lightning fast. Any Pokemon that uses a priority move, in my opinion, is the best in raids. Like, considering the fact that stat boosting moves are pretty much useless in this format because you're going to get them wiped away in a couple turns anyway, so it's not worth wasting one of your turns for it. Priority moves are one of those categories of moves that actually are really, really good for raids, and it's cool that he has it. I don't have good experiences with Jolteon personally. What do you guys think of Jolteon? I say C. You, you think I say C. Things? I haven't done much of Jolteon, so I'm just going to have to take everyone else's word for it. C. Like, I, I'd accept C, but I'm more feeling D. Based on my Oof. personal experience with D, I'm a bit biased. I would be willing to put it in D. We do have to ask ourselves, D. though, if it's really worse than these three. Like, the priority move is nice, but if you're always going to die within a turn or two, is it really worth it? Yeah, you are right. I mean, Jolteon does just get ruined by so many attacks. Okay, I, I'm down for D. I mean, maybe we can take a look at some of these when we're finished and reconsider, but D is enough for me for the time being. Okay, guys, here's one that I think we're all going to enjoy uh, taking some shots at. They did us all a massive disservice by putting Wobbuffet as one of the raid allies. When I see Cabby Alfie in my roster at the start of a raid i know i'm ready to lose <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it, I, I don't know it's like i just wish that in this situation the ai that they did for raids would be at least a little bit more intelligent because this has the potential to not be a bad thing but it's the fact that it actually just kind of like rolls a dice and just picks a random move with this wab effect because like you know, you'll be fighting a Pokemon that has no business using special attacking moves, and this idiot will still be pulling out Mirror Coat left, right, and center. I, it's it's a little embarrassing that they put Wobbuffet in. Like, I, I, there are worst ones in there, but I would waver somewhere between here and here. Uh, F. F. F tier? I'd gave. I put it in F. Let's do it. As bad as it gets, you know what? I, I think that's really, really reasonable. I like where your head's at with that. Okay, so next up we've got Halucha. Now, before I say anything, I actually want to hear from you guys first. What are your thoughts on Halucha? 
I don't think he's decent. It's mixed. Yeah, it's mixed. Like, I, I have some positive memories, but it's mainly me being let down, I feel like. Yeah, and I think you guys can agree the way that you're let down is the fact that you'll start a raid turn with the shield up, and this idiot will still use Feather Dance. Which, for those that didn't know, any stat-lowering move that you use on an enemy's barrier will just not work. So you, yeah. he can see at the beginning of the turn that there's a shield up and he still chooses to use Feather Dance. Even when the shield's not up, like just the way that the pacing of raids work, you're either likely starting and finishing a turn with the shield up or procking the shield or breaking the shield within a turn. So picking Feather Dance at any point is just not a good strategy. You can't rely on Halucha at all, really, uh, when it does that. So, yeah, you just got to be careful. Yeah, it's really, really infuriating. So I, I would struggle to put Halucha any higher than D. I agree. Yeah. yeah. You, the boys are with me on that one? Yeah. Okay. Not an F, but definitely not a C either. Yeah, yeah, agreed. So next up, we've got another unevolved Pokemon. I think it was right to put Clefairy in as a raid ally because of the fact that like the Clefairy is a really popular and iconic Pokemon. And the thing is Clefairy's an ability is Magic Guard, a really good ability, which does come in clutch quite a lot. And Magic Guard means you can only take damage from actual attacking moves. So Sandstorm damage, Entry Hazard damage, damage, status damage, anything like that, it will get damage from. So yeah, Clefairy is an excellent Pokemon, surprisingly, but they didn't do a lot of justice for it here. It's cool that they gave it Follow Me, but Follow Me, I find, is more likely to lose you a raid than it is to actually do you any good. I've had it come in clutch for me a lot, honestly. Multiple times, it would use Follow Me, like, while I'm probably about to die, and then it just comes in clutch, and then I'm able to pull out the raid from my butt. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. I mean... Like, it's cool that they gave it Follow Me. Follow Me is, like, a really, really cool move. I think Clefairy belongs to the C tier. What do you guys think? I, I'm down for C. Yeah, there yeah. are there are definitely worse ones. There are definitely better ones. I think C is an appropriate placement for Clefairy. Yeah, Clefairy's um, one. Like, ah, oh, fuck. It's always just like, all right. It yeah, cool. it's, you know, there's worse ones than yeah. better ones. That's the, that's the perfect way to describe Clefairy. What do you guys think of Pikachu? Good in concept, but not so much in execution. The quick attack is nice. The problem with Pikachu is I would be I would struggle to put it in the high tier personally because I just cannot think of an instance where Pikachu has actually been useful for me in a raid. You know what I'm saying? For me, it'd be another C tier because Focus Sash die right away. It's got a priority move, but doesn't have high enough attack to like do damage but it like will always attack at least yeah 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 i agree i can agree with c tier perfect i think here it is look All at right, this boys. we're gonna be bell curve here <laughs> yeah i mean i, I like you know, how this that's is a good distribution so of pokemon actually <laughs> i'm i'm really happy that you guys are doing this with me because my personal bias would make this tier list look a whole lot different but you've helped me see the Pokemon that are maybe more useful than I give credit to. So in these last three, I think some of these guys are going to be the most perhaps polarizing or perhaps like the Pokemon that gave me the reason to make this tier list in the first place, basically. So this Weavile, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I feel. This isn't going to be a defined placement because I want to hear your thoughts. That's where I think Weavile Ooh. needs to go. I Ooh. agree. I mean, let's, let's break it down. Weavile, for one thing... One of the coolest Pokemon. For two things, one of my favorite Pokemon. For three things, Weavile ah. is the type of Pokemon that they should have been adding as raid allies. They need the likes of Weavile and Rhyperior and Electrovire, not actually in the game, but they, Weavile is the type of Pokemon they needed to be giving you as raid allies. And so the fact that we have yeah. just him is really good. Unfortunately, Dark and Ice means it's four times weak to fighting types. Weavile is a frail Pokemon anyways. They didn't give it a Focus Sash. Um, not that they really should have felt the need to. But priority move in Ice Shard. Uh, it's got both of the stab moves here in Metal Claw and Assurance. Weavile is just such a reliable partner. And I just breathe a sigh of relief when I get Weavile as an ally. Because that means I'm not getting Eevee or Soul Rock or Magikarp or anybody like that. Yeah, no, I can, I can do a... Okay, okay. It's one of the best, like, out of all of 
probably the best out of all of the AI partners because like it's the final evolution. It's got good stats. It's a fat slashy ninja boy. Yeah, I really love Weavile as a Pokemon. Actually, it's, it's, it's just cool. Not the only plus out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely I mean, one. none of these Pokemon are so good or so well designed for raids that they need to be in S tier. But Weavile is the closest thing to that. I can tell you that for free. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Tell me about Eevee. The one and only. Discuss this bullshit. You know, for a long time, in kind of the early months of Sword and Shield, I didn't mind Eevee because I thought it was cool. I thought Helping Hand was cool. But the more I played, the more I have just hated and despised this Eevee. This Eevee, it's, it's just the worst. It's the stupidest. I hope it uses more helping hand on a Snorlax that's just used Giga Impact. That's real helpful. It has happened. The, again, the EV is just the fact that they copied and pasted the the regular battle AI and made little to no adjustments for the raid format. And they're just like, helping hand, good idea. And make make no mistake, it is. It, it's a, it, like Helping hand is an incredible move. If they had actually kind of developed it properly then helping hand should have been on more of these pokemon but this eevee just just does not lend a helping hand it, it, it i honestly sometimes feel a bit insulted when it does helping hand on like the fucking magikarp or one of the other guys instead of on my pokemon it's more of a back come on <laughs> come on i mean i like that they put jolteon in but like all of the evolutions yeah. should have been raid allies all of the evolutions should have been raid allies they should have been each one played to the strengths of that evolution they shouldn't be using this helping hand spamming freya Duh. and her eevee you know where eevee's going boys do you know where eevee's going freaking i would guys this eevee there's Goodbye, the, eevee. this eevee is no place in my tier list i'm baffled by the decisions they made for raid allies time and time again over time i actually have come to despise eevee more than soul rock because although soul rock speaks to what's wrong and what's bad about max raid battles at least sometimes it comes through clutch whereas the only thing you can really rely on eevee to do is let you out this um, doesn't even have four moves <laughs> salazzle is an interesting one to end it on because it, it's not unhelpful it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Again, it's the type of Pokemon that they should have been adding more of for allies. Fire Lash, again, is a really fantastic move for max raid battles. They really easily could have given it another move. I really don't see why they didn't. And Flamethrower and Fire Lash are kind of a bit redundant towards each other. What do you guys think about Salazzle? I put it at top of C. Top yeah. of C? Okay. And Evan agrees. Could... What about you, Eric? I don't like it. <laughs> I would put it in D. D. D tier, really, boys. I, I would have put yeah, Salazzle put so much higher. Like Salazzle's just not bad. I mean, it sucks that it has four moves. It sucks that it is a four times weakness to ground. It's uh, worse than Torkoal. Okay, what if we say bottom of C? Can we agree on that, dude? I think two of us said C, and only Eric said D. So why oh. are you like D? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I just I was I was ready to put it you got somewhere some bias right there. <laughs> I was ready to put it top of C, bottom of B. Actually, I hmm, I don't know. You could put it top of C. I'm down with top of C. <laughs> I think we've got a really good list in front of us, boys. I I'm actually quite happy with our progress today. Isn't I can't believe you didn't capitalize the I. Oh, it was it's because I turned on caps lock. I'm not gonna fix that. That's the way it is now. Yeah, I like what we've done today, boys. I think we've done some good work. Any kind of closing thoughts on this tier list, lads? Fix uh, the list, Nintendo. They're all F tier, to be honest. Oh, Except geez. we've had some decent we sh Pokemon. We should have done it like in the middle of the alphabet rather than A, B, C, D. Yeah. <laughs> Starting from like E, E, F, G, yeah. H, F. Make it as Cute. nonsensical as these raid ally additions were in the first place. I have the final way to determine how our tier list is. At the top there on your screen, Matt, is this a smiley face? Is this a heart smiley face? Is this laughing tears? Is it prey hands? Or is it poop emoji? Poop emoji. I think it's poop emoji. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm, I think 
Everybody in D and this tier are poop emoji. Everybody in A tier is heart eyes. And Magikarp in particular is crying laughing because I can't believe they put a Magikarp in the right battles. I think it's all poop because if you want to have anything above poop, have an actual person on you. Togepi is prey hands. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm I'm on board with everything you guys have said. I a five year old could join your raid battle with any Pokemon and still do better than any of these Pokemon could. 100%. I was just gonna say I'm more upset by the fact that very little has changed since launch than the stated was in launch. Well, I'm really glad we got to do this. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I definitely couldn't have done this without your input. If you like what you saw here today, folks, feel free to drop a like and a subscribe. We're always putting out Pokemon content. We're always putting out gaming content in general. We're a lot of boys with a lot of games that we love. And if you like what you saw here today, feel free to check out some of our other videos. But until next time, see you later. Heat more can suck my my nuts. Heat more can heat more of your nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah.